Um, hello guys. So <laughs> I had an interesting idea pop up that I wanted to try out. Basically in the Roblox editor, there's this little feature called the toolbox. And what it allows you to do is to grab free models and assets that other people make and put them into your own game. So it's kind of like stealing and you really shouldn't use it that much, but I'm gonna try and make a whole game off of it. So <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I thought it would just be an interesting challenge. I also wanted to make it a horror game. Um, don't know how possible that's gonna be, but we're gonna try. So without further ado, let's place our first thing. All right, if we scroll through here, let's see, what can we put in a horror game? Oh, doors, figure, ragdoll, blood on impact, and light. <laughs> That seems scary enough. Let's uh let's let's put that in. This ragdoll contains 19 scripts. <laughs> For you guys who don't know, anything that includes scripts isn't the best idea to trust because it could be like a virus for your game. However, I uh do not care <laughs> so we'll be adding it anyway oh wow that's pretty realistic too let's see does it chase you um uh, it is not quite chasing us <laughs> yeah uh, I, I don't know about this one guys we might have to find a different killer <laughs> oh this is good for a horror game blood splatters that's not a bad free model i imagine though we should build a map so let's see what we can do with that we have a realistic tree awesome there's even more trees right there. We have a uh, door's eye. <laughs> door's fixed seeker? What the heck is with all the door stuff? Is there like a secret agent in the door's development studio that's leaking all of their stuff? <laughs> That's kind of concerning, but I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna question it. In fact, I'm gonna steal it, so. Let's see, does this one chase us? Well, it doesn't immediately collapse and die. That, that's a start. Doesn't look like it chases after us, so we're gonna have to find a new enemy to put in our game here. Ooh, a flashlight. That's a pretty big staple in every horror game, so I'm gonna add that. Oh, <laughs> Dead guy. Also a classic horror game feature. I don't like how he's a, an inch off the ground for some reason. I guess I'll have to... There we go. Ooh, a night sky skybox. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa. That is pretty good. I'm gonna keep it like that. We have 7-Eleven store over here. Let's add that in. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the spawn area be the 7-Eleven and the player will just have to go explore into the woods to uh, avoid the killer or something. Alrighty, so we got kind of a forest going on here, uh, and I think I have to shrink the base plate so that there's not this big uh, thing here. <laughs> Perfect, all right, so. Oh hey, another dead body. Gonna add that one to the collection. <laughs> oh, this is cool, a missing poster. Not a lot of detail, but we'll put that right there. We got some more stolen doors assets, um, some boxes. Oh, hey, <laughs> that's cool, a sleeping cat. Let's put him on top of the dead person because that's kind of cute in a, in a way. Um, <laughs> third dead body to the collection. Another dead body? I didn't even search anything gruesome into the search bar. What is happening with the toolbox over here? But hey, I'll take it. He gets to go right here. I think so far we're at four bodies or yeah capybara poster cuz why not and lastly a bloody head kind of like a, a cherry on top on like an ice cream cone we're putting it on top of the 7-eleven so all right that looks like a good spawn area um i kind of want to add like a parking lot right here i'll see if i can find one this um this doesn't make a whole lot of sense because in a real parking lot, you would ideally have a way for the cars to, you know, get in. But for the aesthetic, I think it fits pretty well. Let's add some street lights and maybe a car or two. <laughs> okay, th th this works. No 7-Eleven is complete without uh, w w one of these. Um, <laughs> all right, that's actually looking pretty good. Um, the power of stealing is very strong, as you can see. <laughs> I do, however, think the whole map being a forest is kind of boring, so I'm gonna add some more locations. What should go over here? A playground would be kind of spooky. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So let's type in playground. Let's see what pops up. Playground patriotic? What does that mean? <laughs> 
I don't see how this playground is particularly patriotic. It's just looks like a normal one to me, but yeah, so um, I wonder if I can add like a dead kid. That sounds horrible, actually. <laughs> I'm kind of curious if Roblox allowed that to be uploaded. Let's look up dead kid. <laughs> I'm kind of concerned what this is because the image is so tiny, I have no idea what I'm about to add. Yeah, I think we might have to go with just a normal adult for this one, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, uh, <laughs> this is a really uh, highly detailed free model of a dead person. Just a normal model colored red. <laughs> He even has a backstory uh, on top of him for some reason, so... Dead guy in the cabinet? <laughs> Don't know why this would be at a playground, but at this point, F it. We're, we're, we'll take anything. Dead rat with blood? <laughs> why not? What is that under it? Is there like a parasite? What is that? <laughs> what? Something is seriously wrong with this dead rat model. I click on it, but then the movement is over here, implying that the model is gigantic. <laughs> Maybe we can do without the dead rat for this game. I, I just wanna, I don't want the game to be horribly broken. Oh shoot, this is kind of cool. A half eaten head that spurts out blood. Let's put that on the table like it was getting eaten by like a zombie family or something. I don't know. We got a concrete path over here and I think this is good. This looks like a normal playground you would see except it doesn't at all actually. I don't know why I said that. What else is something creepy you would find in a forest? I'm thinking like a broken down car or vehicle of some sort. Yeah, I think I think that's good. Let, let's keep that there. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Sad bacon. We'll, we'll put him next to the truck. He'll, he'll be the only survivor in our game. All right, guys, so I think we have a slight issue with the game already. So I don't know what's causing this fire to appear. I'm trying to click over it, but I genuinely don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> It's not in the base plate, as you can see right here, so I really have no idea what's causing it. I guess we can try and cover it up? <laughs> I just tried to put a rock over it and it, it kind of works and there's just a, a, a little thing coming out of the top but we can we can ignore that but anyways we need to decide who our killer is gonna be because this is a horror game after all let's type in killer we have survival the spongebob what what the heck honestly this is kind of funny. I want to I want to keep this. Let's play test our game for the first time to make sure nothing is horribly bro Oh, already got a <laughs> Oh, two. For anyone who doesn't use Roblox Studio, um seeing red text in your game is not good and means something broke. So, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> SpongeBob is not very good at uh, attacking, it seems. In fact, it's like he's trying to run away from me, <laughs> which is not exactly what I had in mind for a killer, but he doesn't even damage you when you touch him. <laughs> this is why you build your own models, guys. Just try and stay away from the free models tab when you can. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to choose a new, uh, a new enemy, it seems. SpongeBob is not the, is not the play. We have Enderman Minecraft Killer. You know what? Uh, I'm down. I like Minecraft, so let's go ahead and give this a try. It's for some reason daytime now. <laughs> what the heck? What did adding the Enderman do to make it daytime? This is <laughs> this is what I'm talking about with the uh, viruses that some free models can have that just mess with your game for no reason. But to the creator's credit, the Enderman um, does kill you. So that's a, that's a that's a point, I guess. It does walk kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's up with its legs? What the heck? <laughs> All right, so that was pretty close. However, I kind of want a free model that doesn't break the entire game. So we're gonna have to keep looking. Killer shark. We're not exactly in the ocean, but I, I just kind of want to see what this does. Um, um, <laughs> I don't know exactly what I expected. I can't really blame the shark. Uh, we're not in its natural environment. We are in a parking lot. <laughs> does it kill me if I touch it? Oh yeah, it does. Wow. We have... <laughs> Furry killer? Are you serious? 
Oh god, this will be interesting. <laughs> it's chasing me, that's a good sign. And it kills me. So this is actually the most functional killer we've come across so far, which is kind of sad. The person who made furry killer is the best programmer in the free model section. <laughs> Since that was so good, I don't want it to be the main enemy for uh, obvious reasons, but I will include it as an Easter egg in like the corner of the map. Let's put him, let's put him there. <laughs> There's a floppa killer, but it's jacked? <laughs> what about being a killer makes you jacked? I don't know, we've seen this twice now. There's also baller killer. What the heck? <laughs> it looks like they're about to fight, but let's play test. Oh geez, that's a new, oh God. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> this guys is why you try and uh, stay away from the toolbox. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> This one's pretty good. The um, floppa disintegrated instantly, so not not quite as good. Oh no, the game is lagging out. Stop, stop, stop. Let's just let's just delete those two before any more problems are caused. Duolingo the killer. <laughs> What is wrong with people? Half of these aren't even scary. They're just random like characters, but with huge muscles. <laughs> Capybara killer. Holy crap. I kind of want this one to be the one. Let's see if it works first though. Oh my God, it does. And it's really fast too. What the? <laughs> I think this is going to be our, uh, this is gonna be our monster. As stupid as it looks, this could actually be kind of scary if it's in like the shadowy woods, you know? Let's put one right here and another one right here. All right, that's good. All right, I'm gonna change the lighting so that the atmosphere looks a little scarier. So let's make it, ooh, that's good. Oh my God, the playground actually looks really sick in this lighting. The only issue is that it's kind of impossible to see. <laughs> But the player has a flashlight, so there, there's actually no need for any uh, improvements on the lighting. But yeah, I think that's gonna be our game. So let's play through it a bit, and you guys will get to see a quick little montage of the gameplay. So here we go. Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. This whole experiment really goes to show the uh, power of um, stealing and <laughs> more specifically why you shouldn't do it um, because uh, you, you could kind of see the game was uh, lagging horribly for no apparent reason. <laughs> or I should say the like horrible code of other people was causing the game to be a little strange at times. But yeah, you can see though that even if you're not an experienced programmer, you can use a little, keyword a little, help from the free models tab to uh, improve your game. So, but yeah, I think that's going to be it. And um, bye. See you later.